It really helps to understand words sometimes. The word politic, polity, polite are all related in terms of word origin. They, they have to do with what is civil, what is right. All politics is is the science of government. That's literally what it means. What polity is is the way you govern a group of people or what your own personal polity is, the way you govern yourself. Um, it actually means, in its direct origin, citizen. What is the citizenry? What is the individual belief? And so when you have a group of citizens who come together and form a political narrative, you then have what we corporately believe. Now, whose job is it to affect belief? There are three great institutions in our country. Let me strike that. That's not correct. There are three divine institutions that exist in every land. Number one, family. And it's always been God's design that the family should train up polity, righteousness, civility, goodness, godliness, rightness. It was always the job of the corporate family, God's family, the church, to remind individuals and to rebuke individuals who are not raising up children in righteousness, what righteousness looks like, and the consequences of uh, inventing righteousness on their own terms. The second divine institution is the family of God, the church of Jesus Christ. And it was the job of that collective community to help individual families train up their children in righteousness. The church was never supposed to be a substitute, it was always a supplement to remind, to reprove, and to rebuke as the family trained. And then there was a third divine institution that God gave us. It is government. And the job of government is to prosecute evil and to protect what is right and good, to give liberty and to protect those liberties, to make sure tyrants and terror don't overcome and oppress people. Those three institutions were to work together. One is not to be the other, and the other is not to be the one. There is distinction there. 